Okay, I'm going to demonstrate this feature switch between Windows and Vista and I'll show you guys how to add it in Windows 7 since it's not like available as a like shortcut but I'll show you guys how to add the shortcut so first I'm going to show you guys an example of how this works on Vista so I'm going to open computer because you can switch windows with this thing which is pretty cool so, so once computer loads I can show you guys okay so you click this and you can just change windows which is pretty cool and I can click again and, and go back to that screen. P pretty cool, but Windows 7 doesn't have it, so I'm going to switch over to Windows 7 and show you guys how to get this feature to work on Windows 7. So it'll be cool, and then you'll use it on Windows 7, which is pretty cool. So that's, wh that's why I like it. I'm back now on Windows 7, so... I'm gonna use this guide to help myself do this because I'm not I use something else to do this, but this is what you should do. So you should create a new shortcut as it says. So you right click on Windows 7 and you click new shortcut. So you, that's it, but then you have to type the location of the item, which is really tricky, so, not that tricky, but it's tricky. So, this is what you type in. Basically, if you have drive C, so you type this in, so I'm, I'm just gonna, you can copy it, I think. Yes, you can and then type the name of the location so there it is you click next I don't know what wants let's see so you can just name it which is so you can type in switch between windows so you click finish sorry because this is virtual so it, it it's a little slow when it finishes then you can use it and it'll, it's supposed to work because I used this program that already creates a shortcut but this is the same thing basically It's, and then you run it, I think. No, you go to properties. You can change the icon actually. So let's do that. So you click properties for this thing. The shortcut. Once the properties pop up. You can change the icon. What did they type in? We can see. Um, they typed in. So they typed in that icon. So they typed in um, imagery. And that there it is, that icon. So you can select that icon. So how you use this feature, you just use the arrow keys, I think. I don't know if it is it's the same thing on um no seven, but let's try it. So you run it.
and then it's supposed to pop. Um, there we go. Use the arrow keys, and it works the same way as um, Vista. So that's pretty cool. Now you have yourself a short, the same shortcut that um, Vista has, which is pretty good. You can put it on the bottom like um, Vista. Like um, I mean not here, but I think you can put no. You can, oh yeah, yeah, yes you can. So you can pin it to the taskbar, and it'll be just like Vista over there. And then you just all you do is use the arrow keys and. There you have it.